What's up everybody, Sambo here. Finally, guess where we are. We are in Transport Fever 2. Yes, you guys have been asking to see me play this game for quite some time. And um, this second edition only just came out, what, maybe a few days ago? I, I can't remember, but it was very, very recently. It just came out and I thought, you know what? People have been asking for it, so why don't we just go have a look, explore, see if I like it. I, I don't know you. I'm still... I'm still 50-50 whether this will be a whole big thing on my channel, but let's just see how it goes. So anyway, let's have a look at um, everything. This video is probably just going to be, be me like trial and error and learning how to do things and you guys can kind of just get to see how it all works as well and see what's different from uh, the first version. Okay, so I actually made this big map and basically put everything down, all the cities and things like that. I kind of purposely made it bad and I know there's a lot to learn about this whole game but I think to start off with we're just gonna start with you know like the roads uh, and then eventually go into the public transport and then we'll go into more of the um, the mining and farms and things like that and get all of those uh, industrial things set up so yeah we have several different towns just quickly I should mention for some reason the mouse has disappeared so right now it's in the middle of the screen um, like if I kind of hover over Greensboro here or to the left here on Fort Wayne you can't really see it for some reason uh, which is gonna be a little bit annoying for this video but I will try to work out what's going on with that uh, for the next video so anyway we have several different towns this is obviously our big main one so I wanted there to be a big main city and um, we also have these little kind of middle-sized towns that kind of break off we have this other one over here and just some random small ones and at this point the traffic is oh look at that traffic actually I'm pretty sure if I go up into which one is it is it this one here street traffic layer so very poor um, and then very good is a light blue color so if we look at that yeah oh my god I know I know it's really really bad but that's gonna be good we're going to have a lot of stuff to manage but it shows us where our main roads are and where we can upgrade those different roads and you know things like that so we have a lot to do in this episode and yes I know that the earnings are minus four <laughs> minus four million dollars ah but that's because I took out a big loan and um, hopefully we can try and turn that around but yeah, let's get into it and hopefully the whole mouse disappearing thing won't be too much of an issue. Okay, so I think the first thing that I really want to do is connect up all of these larger towns. So I was thinking of doing a highway that starts over here, kind of goes down here and goes into this town over here, goes into the Fort Wayne and then into the major city. And then eventually it should come over to this one over here. So we're connecting up all of the larger ones and um, hopefully that will reduce all of the traffic that's going through the actual towns because if we look through here oh look at that and I was trying the roundabout down here but even the roundabouts aren't that good everything is a little bit slow it's a little bit clunky but yeah you can see there's a lot of traffic down through here there's a lot a lot a lot going through the city and that's just not good so we need to get the traffic out of all of these towns and out of the cities and um, flowing a little bit faster so if we go down here I'm pretty sure I can We'll start with probably this one here, which is the large country road and um, hopefully you guys can see <laughs> Can see me placing this down, but let's just start it like I don't know just basically like that um, We'll probably keep the original road over You know this one over here for now. I guess that's good to have but um, you yeah, will just see maybe this road will take all of the the traffic then those other little roads the existing ones will kind of become like a bit of a ghost town I don't know we'll see how it goes so I like that when you go over the water it has all of these different options for bridges like I think that is really really cool it's a nice little touch city skylines come on so we have all of these different ones let's let's do that that's kind of like one of the train lines going over the water I like oops oh I just deleted it, but I like that. So we'll go back over there and we'll choose that one. Then you press the little tick and then we are ready to go again. Um, should I connect it? Let's, can we connect it there? Yes, will that be all right? Hopefully that's all right. So we'll, we'll fix up all of these different little connection points in a minute. I just want to get this, um, you know, the overview done a little bit. I like that it has the tunnels as well. 
and then it kind of cuts everything away and it looks nice as well so can we actually see through the tunnels or oh yeah we can that's good that's a nice little touch so it comes along here and um, just trying to think which way is the best well I was thinking since we are aiming to go over here I think we might go along here um, just kind of touch past Fort Wayne come along the water here maybe do some kind of connection over here and then continue it over directly over to this town way over on the other side so and then eventually we can do some other highways that go to the left of Fort Wayne and go up to the left side of the big city area so let's do that and see how that turns out okay so one thing I'm not sure about is how uh, the connections will be handled in terms of connecting to the highway so uh, just for now I've connected it you know in a very very basic way like that one there um, and then this one kind of bypasses this little road because it's it's a little bit busy that road and then we've just got ordinary connections over there um, and then same for over down here as well so it's just one easy little connection but yeah I don't I don't know how the game mechanics work like are they going gonna prefer this one because it's going to be faster or are they, just, are they going to prefer this one just because that's been there for longer or yeah so I'm not sure how the game mechanics work so we'll just have to see because if if they do kind of get a bit clunky with that we will have to do like proper rather interchange things like that which I don't know how those will go in the game all right some of them are using that that's good get those going I guess it's good to have this one still here as well because we like we have these other connections going over here I'm pretty sure there's a town over here yes there is that town so like this town this town over here probably doesn't need like the big highway connection just because like it's not that busy anyway so we can probably get away with just leaving those I don't know what these are um, and then going through here why does that downgrade like that I don't know then we got Oh, that's right so over here what I was doing if I, oh, I just close that so actually I made it um, so there's one-way roads going off but still it has traffic lights which to me that's a little bit a mm, little bit clunky you know what I mean so I wish we could manage the traffic lights but I guess that's going a bit too technical so hmm we'll just see how that goes but still there's a lot of people coming down through here um, maybe should i add in a connection over here just a really basic one which we, uh, we'll use that one just like that and okay and we'll go over here maybe we can just do one there as long as these connections aren't too close to everything else i feel like it should be fine um got that connection there we've got a connection down there so seems like it's a little bit slow is it a little bit slow or is that just me <laughs> So this traffic jam, oh my god, this has been going on for quite some time. Oof, oh my god. What if I become a little bit sneaky and just delete part of the road and then... <laughs> so that kind of like resets it and then they'll be forced. A new vehicle is available. Okay, interesting. So that'll be interesting though. Like eventually we can get on to doing all the public transport and, um, you know, doing the monorails, the trains and different bus lines and things like that. But for now, I think it's better to just get the roads going and just, you know, get get all that going first. So, did that little trick work? Did it kind of force them off the highway? No. We still have a huge traffic jam through here. But at least we now have this second bridge that goes over here. Because before, we only had this one, which is pretty... Oof, it's a little bit overloaded. But since we're here... Uh, why don't we update this road through here? So we'll give them What do we have? No We'll probably go this with this one here, but it's gonna demolish some things. Okay road upgrades are super expensive for some reason seems a little bit A little bit much doesn't it? All right, let's get that going and um, Hopefully they will all start to use this one. They can get around a bit faster. So come on. Let's get going. You can see I started building this highway along here because I was just kind of playing along with it. I was wondering, can I do, um, you know, other roads over the, the main roads and things like that. You can see this this road here is starting to flow a little bit faster as well. But what, why don't we have a look down here? How is all of this going? So we've got this big connection over here, which is probably a little bit annoying for them. So let's get rid of that. Can I demolish that road? can't even demolish that road because I'm running out of money. Oh, I'm gonna have to take another loan. Oh my god. 
All right, is that road gonna come back again? Look, I don't know why it keeps coming back, like, ugh. In that case, can I just do a simple off lane? Because I don't want more traffic to keep coming into this intersection because it's already a bit of a mess. So we want to keep that flowing as fast as possible. Um, this little road down here, I was thinking maybe, can we upgrade that or, there we go. So we make that one way. So just make that a little bit easier for them. All right, how's our highway? So we've got some vehicles going through here. This one's kind of become a bit empty, which is good, which kind of forces them to go back through the highway. And uh, then this one's coming a little bit busier. So what if we put a roundabout here or something? I wonder if that would help it go a little bit faster. All right, so I put a little roundabout here, two lanes on the roundabout, press play, and let's see how that goes. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. Do we have, we actually have three lanes, so we could, I mean, always upgrade that even more, but we'll just see how that goes because the traffic lights, they're okay, but it was making the highway traffic have to wait too long, which I don't really want. So at least this one, they're going a little bit faster. So, all right, well, that's good. That's, that's going a little bit. I might also put this connection back here, but we'll just use the really cheap dirt road there we go. So at least it doesn't become super desirable to them. Um, let's go over here. So how the traffic through here is still a little bit, mm, but it looks like one side has cleared up a little bit, which is really, really good. Um, we've got a bit of a busy road coming down through here because that's the highway connection. Um, hopefully, were well, some of those cars disappearing then? No. I don't know, I'm still getting used to all of this, but um, go down here. So one side is cleared up again. So we go up here and follow these cars. So they're waiting, waiting, waiting. They're all waiting to go left onto the highway, I assume. Actually, since we have all of this traffic over here, I'm wondering if we um, get like our mini little highway here and bring this along. And instead of making them go through the town, we can kind of bypass that and put just a little connection over here like that so then they don't have to keep going down through here because that's part of the reason why this is all getting clogged up because all these vehicles over here um, they have to go back down into the town so now they can pretty much bypass that and go right onto the highway hopefully that'll make this whole town flow a little bit better don't judge my big roundabout here um, it was a little bit hard to do but i'm hoping since we're going to do a bigger roundabout hopefully the traffic will flow a bit better i'm still trying to work out how you know just how all the traffic works in this game um, obviously there's going to be a lot of little tips and tricks and things like that and uh, i'm not even worrying about the traffic in here yet because that's that's just ugh. That's a nightmare. So I just want to focus on all of this traffic down through here. Now you can see this one over here, the roundabout's really small. So maybe if we upgrade the size of that one as well, might hopefully allow the traffic to move just a little bit faster. So hopefully that's it. So let's quickly go and put in that. So we'll just use the three lane one, just like so, if that's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. It's probably going to look a little bit ugly from this perspective, but... Oops! Why is it doing that? I don't want that. Um... Why would it change suddenly, like... Alright, let's try that. Hopefully, that'll help. There we go. Alright, let's go. Come on. I think... Um, we might have to wrap up the episode here and then in the next one we might have to come into the actual city centers themselves because it looks like they're pretty much in a huge big gridlock but at least we do have a bit of a traffic flow down here but it does all back up again into the town centers so I mean if we look down here we have the um, different trains we can do uh, we also have trams we can put in so we'll have to do trams per little town which would hopefully um, you know, get rid of some of the people, trains, we have the ships, shipyards, we also have some planes, I believe, planes and maybe cargo, yep, cargo airfields. Okay, so that should be interesting to do. Again, a lot to learn and um, this is probably going to be like a fail video for a while because I don't know what I'm doing and um, it's going to be 
hard to watch probably <laughs> but um, yeah what do you guys think of um, Transport Fever 2 and is it really that different from Transport Fever 1 I don't know I didn't play number one I didn't really look into it at all definitely there is a lot for me to learn because oof, there's a lot there's a lot to do in here I'm wondering why these suddenly have trees here did I choose the wrong one or thought that thought I chose the highway anyway um, I'll be back very soon with an another video and uh, we shall go from there so thanks guys for watching and catch you all next time